Well, hello, this is Richard Sturdivant, and I'm just here to, to show you one of my new releases uh, for my one of my backgrounds on Sturdivinci.com. And uh, this one's called Hardcore Multisport One. And uh, uh, we did, uh, I just released a train hard that I put a video out on. Uh, we did um, the uh, basketball mega bundle. Um, then we've got the play ball, uh, the baseball one that we put out. That's, uh, you know, the, they're going to a whole nother level. It's kind of the next evolution of what I'm doing. And I'm pretty excited about it. And I just wanted to share this one with you and just show you a little, little pluses uh, to it. And um, again, this one's boxing and um, it can be boxing, MMA, um, can be martial arts. Uh, we have uh, CrossFit, weight training, uh, pretty much anything you want to do within those, those, um, those areas of those sports. So I'm going to open up and I have finished samples up, up top here and I'm going to open up that little folder there and I've got five basically arrangements in this uh, this background so it's one basic background that we build off of and then we change it around and uh, you can go a lot of different directions with that this first one is the boxing ring and I built this boxing ring and you of course you can change colors and I'll show you that through um, through the next couple of images on the ropes um, you can change the lighting you can change the ambient light in the room you can turn bags on and off you can turn flags off you got boxing posters up here that you could turn on and off uh, so everything that that you could possibly have to to create a, uh, a boxing scene here you can do you can have your play uh, your boxer uh, full body you can have him close up whatever you might want to do with this so I'm going to show you the next one um, and this is a full body boxer here, and then we're going to go with a close up. We've got a crowd in there now. We also moved the lights up because the lights wouldn't be hanging down, so the you know the lights are still there. You can rearrange those if you like. We also were have uh, the ability to turn the ropes different colors. Here we turned them red. Uh, put more light in the ring. We got a stadium light here that can actually. Uh, you know, put the light above the subject, behind the subject. You can add more light to him, whatever you want. So you can kind of control the lighting there. And then here, if you want a competition piece, um, you know, as far as two boxers fighting, you can do that or just do a single pose like this. Uh, almost anything that you possibly could want. Now, on the next boxing one, uh, this is just the original background here with all that other stuff. Some of the stuff is turned off. Again, change the color of the ropes again. We got two bags. We got the flag off. We've got, uh, you know, posters off. So it can be pretty plain Jane. You can have two boxers in this ring. And just for kicks and grands, I threw you a little boxer dog in here uh, just for uh, fun. And uh, you don't have to use that. You can turn it on and off. But I thought it was kind of funny. And uh, so anyways, and then we can go to the next one, which goes to uh, CrossFit and weight training. Uh, and this is one of the owners of Relentless Fitness and their husband's on the next one and um, they're pretty fit and uh, uh, they win quite a few competitions. In, in any case, they uh, this whole thing is, everything in here is um, can be moved, uh, rearranged, light can be changed, ambient light can be changed, turned on and off. You got a deadlift platform here. You got a power rack in the back. That barbell actually moves so you could take that barbell out, put it on somebody's back. Uh, whatever you want to do. Um, the rope, climbing rope can be moved. You got box jumps. You can make that, make that box, you know, a smaller box, a larger box, whichever you want to do. We've got tires laying down, tires up against the wall. We've got an exercise ball, dumbbells, plates against the wall, kettlebells. All those kettlebells can be moved individually. Even a jump rope laying on the floor just to kind of play around with all that. And uh, this deadlift platform is, you know, pretty accurate in these gyms. And, and um, this is uh, this one's actually made by Rogue. And um, so anyways, I, I, I think it'd be kind of cool to, to do some stuff with this. And, you know, I love the flag. So, and I have a flag in a lot of my pieces. You can turn that on and off. Or if you're from Canada, you can put your Canada flag, Mexico flag, um, um, you know, any, any country you have, you can put your own flag in there. Now, turn the next one off. And then we've got Blake Rogers, who is the husband of Haley there. And uh, they're the owners of Rel Relentless Fitness here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Anyways, there's the dog again looking at him, and he's doing a um, basically a power clean, and uh, the the actual deadlift platform is turned off. Uh, some of the stuff is still there. It's basically the same background, but different arrangements how you can move it around. 
So I'm going to turn those off and we'll go back to the original box here. And I'm just going to kind of show you some things just like I did in the train hard video. You can change colors, you can change mood, you can change lighting, you can change position, you can change perspective. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, let me come up here and uh, look here at some of the folders that are actually turned off. Um, they're all for the CrossFit part. Now we get to the lights, those are for all the uh, arrangements. And then, um, you know, the stadium close up. This is a really bright light that kind of puts a little mist in the air, kind of a little hazy, kind of adds to the lighting of the subject, but you can turn it off too and just go with a more subdued lighting, like it's not so bright. And so you can do that. Uh, then the lights up here, they turn off and on. And then you got your left center. So you can, you can move that around any way you want. And you, you have other lights that you can turn on if you like. Um, we have so many lights that, I mean, you can light this whole thing up if you want. And you can turn the box around the front. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. And these all these can, can be moved around with no problem. And uh, so I encourage you to kind of get in there and move with that. Of course, here's your mail lifter. That doesn't make sense in the boxing ring. Uh, but, you know, there she is. Uh, and here's your full body boxer. And if we open this up, we actually have, you know, your shadows and you can kind of play around with those and adapt those color overlay that actually ties him into the scene. And then also we have an adjustment layer on that to darken the feet to kind of pull all of the tension towards uh, the top and, uh, you know, have the lighting fall off down through there. So turn that off and we got the boxing ring. Let me turn the boxer off. And so we'll open up the boxing ring. And oh, that's my, opened up the wrong one. All right, so we've got yellow ropes. If you wanna click here, we'll click on that uh, color layer. We'll go there, there's red ropes, turquoise ropes, blue rope, I mean purple ropes, green ropes. I mean, whatever you want. You want gray ropes. You can just keep doing the combinations are endless and uh, so we'll turn that off and so that way you can do that you can also add more light to the uh the actual ring floor as well so you can add that light there and turn that off now here's the ring itself we just turn it on and off you see it looks pretty dark in that background we're going to close that and we're going to turn that boxing ring off there and we'll go down to the let me turn this boxer off too where'd he go there we go and let's go to the ambient light now i can open this up and click there and go to my properties and i can adjust it if i want there or i can just go to my layer it's at 58 percent now see if i go up it can get even darker okay and then if i come back up here and I turn my lights on and i go to the center light right there open that up and then I come up here and get my stadium light see I can lighten that whole area up make it real moody now I can also take my ambient light and basically go down and open it up bring light everywhere open it up just as much as I want so it just depends on what mood you want what you want to what you want to portray in your image um, the possibilities are actually endless with this. I, I love this. This is the way I work with a lot of my images. And I've been doing this for years where I have multiple things in my files that I could use for different purposes or different sports. So it, 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 it is the same series, but it's not the same image. So it just depends. Now, we'll turn the ambient light off. Punch and bags can be turned off. Also, in the punch and bags, you can individually turn them off. So you have plenty of control there. Speed bags and posters, you can turn those off, and those are all individual as well. So you can turn that off, turn that off. You can uh, turn the boxy posters off, or you can open up the folder, and you can turn one or replace it with your own boxy posters. Um, and then we have, um, let's see, just turn that off, turn that off, and then we've got the uh, flag, which you can turn that on and off here. You can place your own flag here. Uh, you don't have to use the American flag. Um, you know, I'm from America. Obviously, I'm going to use the American flag. But uh, stadium crowd, boom, we could turn that on. Let's turn uh, the flag off. And 
let's go and uh, let's turn on the, the boxing ring. And where did I lost my boxing ring? There we go. And turn that on. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to change those to yellow. And then we're going to turn our full boxer on. So we got him there. Or we can do our close up boxer. Let's see, where did he go? There's a lot of files here. There we go. You got to keep looking for them. We can put him there, and boom, you've got your lights. Now, I would turn, I would leave the stadium light on and turn these off. And that makes much more sense right there. And then if you wanted to change, again, um, turn that off there. You turn it on, turn it off, make it a little brighter. I'll probably make it a little brighter. And then click on there. Go to your red. And there we go. And there you go. Now you can do whatever you want to with it. You can put another boxer in there, so forth. Well, so we'll turn that off, and then we'll go and um, turn the crowd off, and let's turn our boxer off. So we come over here, and we go to the male lifter. We turn him on. Uh, we start turning the tires on. Uh, let's go to the CrossFit rack. We open that CrossFit rack. Boom, we got the barbell. Can turn on and off. Uh, power rack, shadow, uh, everything you want. Uh, barbell rack, you can turn that on. And also... You can go and turn different barbells off and the shadows with it. So uh, then you can go back to stadium light uh, right and left. You can actually light it in the background, give a little bit more light there. Then you can come and add the plates. Uh, let's take the ambient light. Let's take it down. Um, let's go back. And let's just do the opacity. You see, it's... Um, there at two percent we're gonna make it darker there we go I'll oh, probably about 50 percent 51 percent then uh, you know we can come over here and let's see we got steam crowd barbell rack kettlebells there's kettlebells now those kettlebells can be moved over here boom no problem um, then we can do the um, chain rings chain and the rings on there exercise ball uh, we can do the boxer dog looking up him, at him. Uh, we got the tire flat. Of course, that tire can be moved anywhere you want, you know, so we can put it there. And then we can take the um, dog and move the dog up on the, up here, and make a little adjustments to his feet and everything. So we come up here and we'll turn that off and probably bring that down. There we go. And then, um, you know, just play around with the shadow a little bit and make it fit uh, that tire. And so you're pretty good to go. And uh, you can do, again, go back with the flag. Um, do, 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 do. Where'd my flag go? Right here. There we go. Turn that back on. I just think it kind of adds a, a little bit to it. You can turn that flag horizontal if you wanted as well. So, I mean, there, there's plenty of things that you could do uh, here. You can also... Come up here and let me come up here. Let's turn that folder down. Let's close the boxer dog. There's the rope. And let's see here. We're going to go down to our male lifter, full boxer. We're going to go right there, right above our boxing ring. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to um, layer, uh, new fill layer, solid color. I'm going to go to a soft light and I'm going to hit OK. Now, that was a white, so it chose whatever color I had on my color picker there. But we're going to go um, and kind of tone it down just a little bit. Go to a little gray here. Okay, and we can go back and we can take that same color and we can put it on our lifter. We can go to his color overlay and click there. And there we go. And we basically just got him to the same color range as the, the background. Of course, the uh, tire. We're going to go open the tire. And let me see the tire flat. Where is that at? There's the 
do, 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 do. There we go. A lot of layers. I had trouble finding them too. Click there. Double click. And click on that layer. And that tire, you may want to make it a little bit lighter. Hit OK. There you go. Same with the dog. Uh, we'll go with the boxer dog. Click that. And go here. Let's sample that color. go now so we can arrange that and we can put it on the ball too so you could change it to whatever you want and uh, if you didn't want to do all that you could just bring this um, this color overlay over all the way to the top the solid color feel and put it over the top and just blend the whole thing together now you can also come here and you can basically go green Ooh, that's ugly but you get the point. So you can kind of tone it down to whatever you want. There's a little bit of purple added to it, a little bit of green added, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. So you can kind of take it anywhere you want. And um, I know this is a lot. I'm trying to do this so to keep the video short, so I'm talking kind of fast. But I just wanted you to see what you possibly could do and look at your finished examples here. And, uh, you know, and as you look at that, it looks pretty cool. So I appreciate you looking at this video, and I hope it helps you to understand what we're doing in this. Uh, again, we'll close all these um, folders here and just show you all the layers. And that's a lot of layers to be working with. And this file is a pretty large file, so when you download it, be, expect for it to take about 20, 25 minutes or so with a fast internet. Uh, but you will enjoy this. The file is humongous. Uh, it's uh, 25 by... 31 at um, I think it like at 300 dpi let's see what, what is it? let's let's see the image yeah 35 at 21 at 300 dpi it can, it can be cropped with no problem it's huge it's 189 uh, megs and um, so if you wanted to come in here and crop and let's say you wanted to go to a um, 16 by 24 right there Let's raise that up a little bit. Let's see if we can move him. Yeah, we can get him all the way in it. Hit OK. And it's going to take a minute to crop because it's really, 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 really big. And uh, once it does, but as you can see, look at that whole, the parameter of that whole crop preview. I mean, you have all that stuff on the outside. Now, now that it's cropped, okay, of course here I went a little further and I would have to move some of that stuff down, but uh, that's easy. You see up here when you crop, if you uncheck delete crop pixels, see I can come in here and I can go, um, let's see, where's my tire? I go to my tire. I can move, hold on, let me go turn this off. I can move my tire in here if I want, okay? I can also move that tire out of the way. I can go to my power rack and I can move my power rack over. See, there's all kinds of possibilities you can do when you crop this. So you can do posters, uh, almost anything you, you want to do with this. So we'll go back and go back before the crop. There you go. And I hope you enjoyed this. And, um, you know, you can get this at sturdavinci.com. And um, thank you for listening to me, and I hope you enjoy this product. Thanks. Bye.